Okay, so we're going to do dorsiflexion and plantar flexion grades 1 to 4. So to start off with, you're going to make sure you get your patient in the right position. So, Neil, can you just move the lower half of your body just slightly towards me? There's no point in me leaning across the bed to them. Second, you need to ensure that the bed height is correct. At the moment, this is a little bit too low for me because my elbow is going to be too low down. I want to raise up so that I'm not trying to lean in towards. So we'll just raise the bed up slightly, Neil. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got quite a comfortable position. A little bit. Get myself into a comfortable position, nice firm base as well that I'm standing in. Okay, so the handling is going to be, we're going to be using a lot of our webs here, okay, for our dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. So if we're working first of all on, we're going to work on plant, um, on dorsiflexion, one web's going to be in the back here on the very top of the calcaneum, and the other web is then over the, over the um, sole of the foot, using our web across here so that we're at the front of the calcaneum. So we've got the back and the front, because we're going to try as much as possible to affect only the talocrural joint in this situation. There would be situations where you would do the rest of the foot, but for the purposes of this, we're going to focus on the talocrural joint. So in here and in here. Now remember, you've got to test the range before you get into your grades. For the rest of this, I'm not going to keep testing the range, but you must whenever you do these as treatments. Okay, so we would take them from the end of range and we'd be looking for resistance and pain. So we're pushing down through here and up through here. Okay, so I'm affecting that way into dorsiflexion if I was testing the range from here through. So the pressure is through the two webs of my hand. If I was to do a grade one, then it's going to be in this position here, small amplitude out of resistance. You can probably barely pick that up on the camera. Grade two, much larger. Remember, out of resistance. Grade three, we need to find the point of resistance. So as we go through the range just there, so I'm going to go through resistance with my grade three. And grade four at the end of range, just in here. Okay, if we're looking for um, plant deflection now, then the same thing, we're going to be having our hands, but we're going to use the web from the other side because we're going to take the foot so that the toes come this way into plant deflection. In this position, we can do our grades one and two, and then three and four will be just slightly different. So this time, web's underneath. We're trying to lift from the very front, so we're kind of just in front of the talus, essentially. And we're going to lift from the front, coming up, Finding that point of resistance, that is me testing the range. Obviously, if it was a painful ankle, I'd be asking for pain checks as well. And then for our grade one, just nice and small. If anything, you can see my elbow is moving more than the foot. Grade two, much larger. Again, elbows are moving more than the foot. And we're out of resistance. Okay, for three and four, we technically could try to do it in this position, but you're not going to get to the end of range. So you could do three and four in this position. You will not treat them at the end of range, though. For more moving towards the end of range techniques, that's where we use the flicking. So we're then going to come down in here. You need to ensure that you've got a good grip of their foot, okay, holding across um, on the sole and the very top of the foot in here. And you're going to use the pillow as your point of impact. If it's a grade 3, it's larger. If it's a grade 4, it's obviously much smaller. So if we go for our grade 3, so remember you're going to come down and push their leg into the bed as you plant to flex the foot here, this position. Now if you know that they have any restrictions, so this is really for a stiff ankle, then this is a fantastic technique to start to come in. So we've got a grade 3. The other thing you can start to do is some patients will, get, will feel this rhythm and then actually start to fight you. So what you can do there is just in your head, come up with a different tune and play the tune. You have to name that tune for me. Okay, so for grade four, much smaller, but towards the end of range, so I'm just going to come slightly closer, and I'm here. Okay, and that's grades one to four, plant flexion, and doors flexion.